Number 58. A shopper standing three meters from a convex security mirror sees his image with a magnification of 0.25. Letter A. Where is his image? So I think what they're talking about is, you know, where is it in front of the mirror? Is it in back of the mirror? Uh, and the way we can figure that out is by identifying the sign of DI. All right. Negative sign implies behind. A positive sign will imply in front of the mirror. So what we need to do is calculate that. So how do we do it? Well, they give us the magnification. They also tell us the object distance, meaning the man here is an object. All right. And uh, what we can do is we can then find the image uh, distance by this formula. That negative di over do, right? Di is image distance. This is object distance is going to equal the magnifications. If I have to find the image distance, just simply cross multiply this on over, bring the negative sign on along for the ride, make it a little neater, get rid of this underline at the bottom, reposition the DI, and there you go. There's your formula. So DI is now going to be equal to negative magnification point uh, two five, multiplied then by the um, object distance of three. All right. So DI here will be now equal to. All right. So let's see what we get. So we're going to get 0.25 times 3, and it's negative now, negative 0 0.75 meters, right? or 75, or negative 75 centimeters. Now the negative sign here will tell us uh, that the image, as I just mentioned, is behind, behind the mirror. All right, cool. So letter B, what is the focal length of the mirror? So now uh, <clears throat> we can do this in a couple of ways. We could use a formula de we derived in a couple of problems ago, or we use our equation here that one divided by the object distance plus then one divided by the image distance should be equal to then one divided by the focal length. To find this focal length, all you just simply got to do is cross multiply this out of the denominator and on across to the left. And then you got to take this whole thing and bring it on down into that denominator, denominator in its place. All right. And uh, here we go. So I'll just clean it up a little bit. Maybe I'll make this a little nicer. This is just one over then. I don't know, for some reason, I, this is totally random. I just was thinking about Italian bread. Don't ask me why. And um, now I'm really hungry. Uh, anyway, uh, so it's one divided by now one over do. That was totally random. But, you know, one divided by, that's because I actually haven't eaten yet. Uh, yeah, I woke up about seven hours ago and... Um, Appointments and then doing videos in between and I forgot to eat. So I think now the site or just not even the site, but the, the thought of bread is just um, I'm really hungry. Okay, one divided by DO. So DO we said was going to be three meters plus then one divided by now DI. DI was negative 0 0.75. All you have to do is now do the math. Do the denominator first. So one divided by three plus one divided by the negative 0.75 negative one, and then do one divided by negative one, right, which will be what? Which would just simply be negative one, okay? So negative one meter is going to be then the focal length. All right, cool, so that takes care of letter uh, B, and then letter C, what is the ratio of curvature? Well, guess what? We got a nice little equation over there on the right-hand side, right? So for letter I, why did I label this A? This was B, right? This is B, I don't know what I'm doing. This is A, and now C. So we got a formula, right? Focal length is equal to the radius of curvature all divided by two. To find the radius of curvature, just basically multiply, cross multiply that two on over, clean it up a little bit, and notice that the radius of curvature will be two times that focal length. So you found this to be negative one. So the radius of curvature therefore is gonna be negative two. All right, that's gonna be equal to the radius of curvature. And uh, yeah, that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. I hope this helps. And I look forward to helping you with more problems. See you in the next one.